Spring is here and you know what that means? Insects. Yes, that's right, insects. They're waking up and they're ready to wreak havoc on your lawn. But don't let them destroy all your hard work because today I'm gonna show you exactly how you can insect proof your lawn step by step using a granular product that is really easy to put down. There are a few other things that I'm going to cover today as well. The weather really has been terrible. It hasn't been cooperating. We've had a lot of rain lately. So there are some things that I haven't been able to do. I'm also going to be putting down a supplemental fertilizer that's really cheap per application and it really does a good job in giving that extra boost of nutrients that your lawn needs on a regular basis. I've also been looking around. We've had some weeds break through here on my lawn. And so I'm gonna be planning to spot treat and do something else that's a little interesting that you may not have seen before. All right, so stick with me here because we've got a lot to cover today in a short amount of time. All right, let's go get that spreader and get to work. Before we get into the specifics about insect control, I wanna talk about the weather. It just really hasn't been cooperating at all around here. It's been a bit tricky trying to deal with all this rain that we've gotten lately. We got four inches one time, then we followed up with another two inches of rain. So our ground is saturated here. So it's not good to apply any pre-emergence, any insecticide, any fertilizer for that matter. It's not really gonna help because the next time it rains, if it's too saturated, now I've talked about this before, where if the ground is too saturated, it's not gonna absorb the product like it needs to. So sometimes we just have to adjust to what the weather's throwing at us. And that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Insects like grubs and army worms can quickly destroy your lawn if they're unchecked. Don't worry, I've got an easy solution that's gonna help keep those insects away. It's all about being proactive and doing this at the right time. The key to using this granular product is a great way to protect our entire lawn from all those insects from doing their damage. And not only does it protect your lawn, but it also covers a wide range of insects. There's about a list of 100 different insects that it will kill on contact, so it's a really great product. It's gonna help keep those insects off your lawn, off of you when you're in it, off your pets when they're roaming around in the yard, and off your kids while they play. This one bag will cover 10,000 square feet, so that's a lot of room. If you've got 5,000 square feet, you know what? You can use half the bag and then use the other half three months from now. But this one bag will treat nearly my entire yard front to back. I've got 12,000 square feet here, so I have to buy two bags. And don't forget to hit those flower beds too because those insects like to get in there as well. And be sure to water this treatment in right after the application. And once it's dry, it's safe for the kids and the pets to go into the lawn and play again. Now timing is everything when it comes to this application. You wanna put this product down early in the springtime whenever the weather starts to warm up like it is now, the grass is starting to turn green and all those insects are starting to move. And so for those of you that's got Bermuda grass, just like me, those insects will start to get active around this time. And after that initial application, you wanna make sure that you apply every two to three months to make sure that your lawn is protected completely. Speaking of timing, you wanna make sure that you stay on top of your lawn care game by signing up for my newsletter. The link is in the description below. You'll get access to all the products that I put in my yard and when to put them down. When everything's starting to warm up, those insects are gonna start coming out. They're gonna start hatching and emerging. Even places further up north where uh, I've got a friend that lives in New York State and he just found a bunch of grubs in his lawn in a certain area. I know that some of you guys are still dealing with the snow and once that's melted away, once that ground is exposed, you wanna make sure that you get this product down right away. Even if you miss the first window of application, it's not the end of the world. Go ahead and put the product down and then reapply a couple months later. But a lot of times I will do applications in the morning time. It's my favorite time to do it because then you can see your path in the dew. Another product that I've used in the past is called Spectricide. It works great too. They're both very similar products. This product will also last three months. And so I like to apply three to four times a year, depending on the rate. You'll be able to stay within those yearly limits, providing consistent protection for your entire lawn and home. In the springtime, we're mainly going to be targeting grubs. If you're ever digging through the beds and putting in some new flowers, putting in some new mulch, and you see those juicy little guys in the dirt, that's a grub and it's time to treat it. By late summertime, early fall, you're going to be seeing things like army worms. Those will require another application. I don't want you to wait until you see major damage happen. You wanna be proactive in this and sticking with the schedule is gonna help prevent any infestations happen before they even start. And also being consistent with this insecticide removes any primary food sources that attracts things like armadillos.
Yes, there's been an armadillo that has been completely thrashing my front flower beds lately. Now I did a ton of digging over the weekend. I was fixing up some flower beds here in the front and I noticed that I've got a lot of earthworms and so I'm suspecting that's what he's after. It's just crazy how many earthworms we've got in this yard. I know it's a good thing, but I think we've got a little too many. In addition to this insecticide, I'll be putting down a light application of fertilizer. This fertilizer is gonna be a nice nutrient boost that helps the lawn come out of dormancy and be green and healthy. Also with this application, I'm going to be adding a little bit of neem oil. So that's gonna help with insect repellent and prevention. It's a natural substance that helps disrupt the life cycles of the insects, and it makes it harder for them to feed and reproduce when they're in the lawn. Even though fungus might not be on your radar right now, applying neem oil can also help prevent fungus from taking hold and spreading in your lawn. I've had a really big problem with this lately, especially last year, so I'm gonna apply neem oil this round and see if it's gonna help, especially when it starts to get warmer. Now, during this time of the year, we're going to see certain weeds that are really hard to get rid of, like POA. Now, this professional grade product right here that I've got in this bottle is called Negate. And this post-emergent product is specifically designed to take out POA. But here's the thing, due to federal regulations, you have to mix the entire bottle once it's opened. Most lawn care products, you don't have to do that. So it's really inconvenient, especially when you don't have a massive yard. And I'd say unless you've got 10,000 square feet and a serious POA problem, then I would not recommend this product. It's a really good professional product, but I don't know if it's gonna be worth your money if you've got a small yard. If you decide to use it, maybe go in with a neighbor. Go spray your yard, go spray theirs. Shoot, go spray the entire neighborhood while you're at it because this bottle will cover an entire acre. I'm just kidding, don't go spray the entire neighborhood, that would be bad. This product is also good for warm season grasses only. This is not good for cool season grasses, so don't use it on that. Instead, for most homeowners, I would say the suggestion would be to use Image. Although it's not the best product for POA, from my experience at least, it's better at handling nuts edge. I'm gonna have to do some more research to see if there's another affordable option out there other than Image for POA, uh, but to be honest, I haven't gotten good results with it. Negate was about 50 to $55 uh, for this one bottle. Again, for one application, I think it's quite expensive. But again, it's just not something for your average homeowner. Also going down today is little Scott's Moss X. This is to target some moss and something called Nostock. It's a bit uncommon, but I've had some neighbors complaining about it. But there's actually an easy fix to this. Nostock is a bacteria that forms a jelly-like greenish blob substance that comes up in our lawns and gardens, especially when there's wet conditions. I've also got some moss in certain areas in my backyard. What it does typically with the application, it will turn it black and then it makes it easier to rake it out. All right, so now let me show you what we've been working on over the last weekend. So we gave these front flower beds a total makeover here. We ended up ripping out all the old plants that were struggling in some areas and we replaced them with some gardenias, some radicans. Uh, there's some pink drift roses over here. Indian hawthorn, candy tuft, quite a bit of a variety here. There's probably something else in there that I can't think of right now, but I just can't wait to see these in full bloom. I also ended up moving this downspout because it was buried. It was creating a ton of extra water that was pulling up in the flower beds right here. Just coming in a couple days later, we brought this pine straw in. It looks a lot better finishing it up. We also added some new potted plants over here that are next to the French drain, or actually on top of the French drain. We put down some fresh mulch in the backyard we planted a couple vegetables in our raised garden bed too. I'm gonna to try my hand at growing some grape tomatoes and bell peppers this year. Anyway, one last thing before we go. If you're following my lawn care program, there's one critical application that we need to do really soon and it's that 1648 fertilizer. I'm gonna be putting it down before the end of the month is over. So make sure that you've allowed at least four weeks between the time you put that fertilizer down and when you put that 101010 fertilizer down. If you haven't put that fertilizer down, or if you haven't made your first application of the year, make sure you watch this video where I talk about specific timing with your first fertilization applications of the year. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.